My favorite part about the North Band is definitely the culture. The culture and band in general, and especially in the North Band, is unlike any other activity. My favorite part about being in the band is all the people that you meet. You talk and make friends with so many people that you wouldn't have met before, and it really is just a great environment to find your people. Long-lasting relationships with my peers and mentors. Um, it's very, very fun. I, I still talk to people that I've graduated from my freshman year, still hang out with them. Um, and it just shows how those friendships last a lifetime. Probably it's the people that I've met, whether it's from my actual band class or region band. My favorite part about being in the band in North is definitely the community. It is amazing to get to be part of something where everyone is working so hard towards the same goal. When the band comes together to play concert or pep rally music, and our hard work is finally displayed to the audience. Probably my brother, because I, when I was in elementary school, he'd come home every day and talk about what he did and how much fun he had in band class that day. And just hearing him talk about it, I knew I wanted to be in band. And even now that he's in the North Band, he continues to inspire me every day with how hard he works and how much fun he has while doing it. Uh, my brother mostly inspires me to play my instrument because he played the trumpet through all of high school and middle school. Um, and he's been inspiring me to practice every day and try to be better than him. What inspired me the most is probably my brother who's in the military and my late father. My whole life they just told me like keep going throughout any challenge you face. When I originally started out on saxophone it was like this big challenge for me. Um, and it really just helped me like deepen my connection with not only my instrument but the people who I, the people who I know go through the same thing. I would have to say my two directors, Connor Vaughn and Gary Williams, inspired me to play my instrument. They are the best mentors I could have asked for. I'm looking forward to doing all the milestone things that the Royal Prep Band is doing this year. Um, we're premiering our new uniforms, um, we're performing at BOA San Antonio, and doing the Music for All National Festival. Um, I'm excited to put, show us all the hard work that we put in this year um, and past years. Um, I'm really looking forward to all the new things that we're going to get to do this year. The band is really expanding this year and there are so many things that we're going to get to experience for the first time so that'll be really cool to see. I'm looking forward to the um, solo contests UIL and Region because I'm trying to make it my goal to get into Region Band. Uh, this coming year I'm looking forward to helping out everyone who's new to band and not new to band. Um, it's just such a great community and I want to make that community even better by helping everyone out. So my favorite middle school memories is, um, so we all know how COVID affected a ton of things with masks and social distancing, but a big thing it affected was concerts. Um, and although changes in concerts aren't necessarily the best thing, it led to us actually having concerts outside, which was really fun and just a memorable experience that I'm not sure I'll be able to do again. One of my favorite memories from band is a tradition we have where after a concert, me and a bunch of friends, we'd all go to a restaurant to celebrate and just have a lot of fun, and those memories will stay with me forever. One of my favorite middle school band memories is when our beginner band went to this really fun place called Adventure Landing for our first field trip. There we played arcade, ate pizza, went mini golfing. It was so fun and it was definitely one of the best parts of my year. One of my favorite memories from middle school band is probably um, when we got to go to TMEA. Uh, when we got on the stage for the first time, it was just incredible to see all the people that came to watch us. We'd been uh, working on that the whole year. It was a long process to get there, but like finally getting to perform in front of everyone. I also really enjoyed like after the UIL pieces and playing them and just feeling that like proudness that I have after we get like a one or score all ones. Um, the most rewarding part would be all the advantages that the Royal Pride Band gives um, for a variety of different reasons. Um, it's helped me become a better musician, leader, volunteer, and academic learner. The most rewarding part for me is seeing the new freshmen every year. You get to see them really grow into themselves and see how much fun they're having. So by the end of high school, I will have taken 15 AP classes. So I have a lot to juggle with band on top of that. And it may seem scary, but you are definitely capable of taking this amount of classes. 
So I have also taken quite a few AP classes um, throughout high school. And on top of this, I've been doing band. I am a drum major this year. I'm in National Honor Society. And um, I find it that it really helps me stay organized. I normally keep a list, I have a calendar, and I'll just make sure I get what needs to get done, done. And then I also try to set aside like 10 or 15 minutes every day, no matter what, to practice my instrument. Because even if it's not a lot, at least something. Yeah, so um, throughout high school, I've been involved in 10 AP classes, drum and bugle corps, indoor percussion, and this year I'm part of the Youth and Government Club at Boyd. And I always make sure that whenever I have an extra 15 or 20 minutes in classes where we're doing nothing, I'm making sure to utilize it as best as I can, doing homework for other things, working on college essays, and doing really anything I can to minimize the time I have to work outside of school. So I know when first starting high school, everything seems really daunting, um, especially with marching season. I remember my freshman year, I didn't really know what marching was all about and it started off as a couple of really hot weeks in the summer and I didn't know why everyone was like so excited and like so uh, dedicated to this thing that seemed so hard. But then as the year progressed and as the years have progressed, I realized that it is really about so much more than even just the music, it's about the people and the relationships. My advice to y'all is I would push yourself as much as you possibly can because you never know what you can truly accomplish without fully giving your potential in. Um, it really is worth it in the end. It is a big step up from high school, from middle school to high school and it can be a lot your first year because you're doing and learning all these new things and it does take a lot of time but in the end it really is worth it. Oh, hands down friendship. It is an amazing community of kids. Um, these, you, they spend a lot of time together, so they really bond. And as a parent, you always worry about the first day of school and the cafeteria. Who are they gonna sit with at lunch? Well, band, you just have formed 200 plus friendships. So odds are they're gonna know somebody, see a familiar face, and they're gonna have somebody to eat lunch with. The kids gain so much from the band program. Every life lesson and life skill that you can think about, they will come out of band with those. Responsibility, they have to show up on time with all of their supplies. Time management, they have to look ahead. It's a busy schedule in the fall. They have to figure out when they're gonna find time to study. I mean, teamwork, uh, accountability, all of the great life skills they will come out with from just from being in band. Okay, the role of a band parent is really to be a support system for the students as well as the directors. Those kids are working so hard and as well as our directors, I just I just give them all like the thanks because I don't know how they do it. They are there sun up till sundown. They're always available, they're around, they're there for those students. And so I feel as a parent, our job is to support them. The best thing to do is just get involved from the beginning. Um, as a freshman parent, I got involved both times you know, going through it. And there's so many opportunities, whether you want to help feed the students before a football game or ride the bus to the football games or help with uniforms or even things like working a concession stand. There's so many different opportunities that there is really something for everybody. And whether you have 10 minutes to give or you have all night to sit at a football game, there is definitely something for everybody. And the biggest thing is the parents, we become like a little family too. And as we go through senior year, it's getting really rough all of a sudden. Like the, the thoughts of, oh my gosh, this is it. This is ending. So private lessons are a great opportunity for students to have one-on-one -on -one instruction with a professional musician every week. 
So the musicians who are teaching these lessons have studied at very high levels. Um, I have three degrees in flute, a bachelor's, master's, and a doctorate, where I've studied the performance and the pedagogy of this instrument. And so students are receiving exercises specifically for their instrument from someone who has all of this knowledge. As Dr. Brinkman said, um, a time that we can have one-on-one -on -one with the individual student. And I think that's important just because that student is the entire focus. So a lot of times students can feel left behind or sometimes that they're not being pushed far enough in a class. Um, I think, I believe kids need lessons to help them achieve what they think is impossible. Um, one of the things that I hear my students say all the time is, I can't. And I tell them that is the only four letter word in lessons I don't want to hear. I can't. And so I feel like my job is to remind them that I can't is really just a not yet. And I also have students who are still exploring, like, what do I want to do with flute? And so lessons are a great place for them to explore their goals, explore their interests, and get uh, some catered help on how to meet those goals. Uh, in addition, private teachers understand that every student learns differently and that they all have their various strengths and also areas for growth. And so we can tailor those lessons toward those strengths and areas for growth. Um, I see my role as being a private lesson teacher as multifaceted. Um, the main one would probably be a student's personal guide um, to guide them through not only music, but also they come in sometimes with just the load of the world on their shoulders and so um, showing them that you know this is a space to come in not just about music but you know to feel comfortable and feel like they have a place of belonging a safe place and then how we can deal with those issues with just the power of music. <sighs> the moment a kid gets it I call it a light bulb moment and that's something my second flute teacher called it. And what's so special about it is a student finally has a piece of knowledge and they understand it, and they will have that for the rest of their lives. Um, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, for me, the moment a student gets it, it's, you see a sparkle in their eyes suddenly, and then all of a sudden the rest of their face just lights up and you just, everything just clicks. And it's so exciting and gratifying and exhilarating because you know that that's something they did. That's something that it was all them. And people look to us teachers all the time like, oh, well, you must be so proud of your hard work. And it's like, I'm just the guide. I am just there to show them the way that student chose to do the work.